Ghostwriting the Steamon is one of my favorite workflow hacks to be able to save time and multitask when you're working on the bar. It's really simple. Instead of holding the milk pitcher while you're steaming, you're gonna get it set up in that perfect spot, turn it on and just let it rip. Here's how it works. You're gonna throw your steaming pitcher on the drip tray. You're gonna position your steam wand so it's about an inch or so away from the side wall of the pitcher, and you're gonna want the tip of the steam wand to be about half submerged under the surface of the milk and half above the surface of the milk. This is pretty much the same setup you're gonna use when you're steaming milk, even if you're holding it. Once you've got that position perfect, just turn the steam wand on and let it rip. You should hear air going in, you should see Vortex spinning. Now, if you get that positioning dialed in and perfect, instead of you having to lift the pitcher up to kill the introduction of any excess air and stop the stretch, what's gonna happen is as the milk starts to expand and stretch, it's gonna automatically bury that steam on tip and cut off the introduction of air all by itself. You don't even have to touch it at all. So what this does is it really frees up some motion. You put the pitcher there, turn it on, and all of a sudden you're hands free. You can prep out more milk, you can move some cups around, you can high five customers, you can do basically whatever you want. Of course, this means you won't be able to feel for temperature the whole time, so you have to be really comfortable with how hot your milk is gonna get and over what period of time so that you can let it go for a certain amount of time and then come back to it and still have that little safety buffer to get the temperature exactly where you want it. So even though this is really simple, it's kind of a more advanced technique in that you have to have a pretty good idea of what your milk is doing. Another thing this does is illustrate just how little motion you need when steaming milk. Even if you're going hands-on, the less you move your pitcher, the better your milk's gonna be. Most people move their pitcher around way too much. Now this is a pretty easy technique to learn, but it will take a little practice. So in the beginning, if you don't get that positioning just perfect, and maybe you're getting a little too much air in right off the bat, you can go ahead and just like tap the steam wand down to bury it and kill your stretch. Or if you find that you had it too low, the tip was too submerged underneath the surface of the milk and you're not getting any air, still just leave the pitcher on the drip tray and just pull the wand out a little bit. And that'll just give you a better idea Idea of where you exactly need to be. Now, another thing I'll say is that this won't work on every machine. You gotta have the drip tray for it. The Strata has the perfect drip tray for it. It's huge, tons of real estate. This will definitely work on a Linea Classic. I've done it on a couple other machines as well, but if you have a really shallow drip tray, it may be really hard to get the positioning solid. But that's it. Ghost ride the steam on. Start off with one, keep it moving. In no time, you'll be pulling a couple shots. Ghost riding on both sides, two pitchers going, just crushing the workflow game. So try it out, let me know how it works, and keep it real, y'all. Peace. Ice machine just kicked on. Can you guys hear that? It's tight. No big deal. Audio just going off with ice machine.